I just think for women boxers, it's just one of those super fights that we never had to have. And this is the Layla Ali versus Ann Wolf. This is the Lucia Riker versus Christy Martin. We've never had that in women's boxing. So for this to be the first, um, this is great. And they were from two parts of the, we were from two different parts of the world, which makes the fight even better. I'm just going to say a question to you. What do you think this fight does for women's boxing? I think uh, this fight is a real deal and will be the game changer for women's boxing and will be inspire a lot of women's boxing, uh, a lot of women and uh, female athletes who want to live your dream and uh, fight for that. And uh, yeah, it's a good uh, motivation for all. You know, you held, Christina, world title for over eight years, going back to 2010. But after basically her fourth fight, she, and even before her fourth fight, she dubbed herself the Guo. And that's the greatest woman of all time. What do you think about her naming herself that, considering the number of fights you've had and the number of fights she's had? Yeah, you say it right. She called herself the best of all time, the greatest of all time. Uh, when the people call you the greatest of all time, then you're the true one. But that's, yeah, you can Ain't nobody call you that, man. <laughs> but I don't call you myself. Uh, I'm the greatest of all time. Because you don't know how to fight that good, so you yeah. can't be the greatest yeah. woman of all time. Of course. <laughs> I want two Olympic gold medals. What yeah. do you win? So let me ask you this, Larissa. <laughs> if you win this fight, you've already, you already called yourself the woke. What does that make you then? Still the woke. <laughs> Another one. It just, before Muhammad Ali became, he called himself the greatest of all time before anybody ever acknowledged him. As soon as he came from the Olympics and he won the NABF title, he won the NABF. It wasn't the WBC, IBF, WBA. The NABF, one of the belts that's considered a, a small belt to help you get to the bigger belt, he called himself the greatest of all time. Just because the world caught on to it after he uh, already called himself, that don't mean nothing. Just like with me. I'm proving it. How am I here with eight fights against this big old vicious German who's 24 and 0? How am I here if, I, if, I, if, I'm not, if I'm not the greatest one of all time? How am I here? They're just putting me here? I'm not, they didn't, they didn't bring me here to lose. I tell you that right now. I'm, they know that it's gonna be a fight and it's gonna be some blood. It's gonna be somebody crying after the fight. I'm telling you, it will not be me, period. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Uh, this was Muhammad Ali, not you. And you can't uh, push you to the same level like Muhammad Ali. That's you, Jen. What are you? Are you? You're Chris, so she's right. But so now y'all think she's talking level. English. She's faking when she's be acting like she don't talk English. She talks English. I'm <laughs> serious. She talks real good English. Y'all just caught that. Let me ask you this, Christina, then. Because you've had the title for so long, if she's the quote, after four fights, what does that make you then? Considering you've had a title for almost nine years. Yeah, nine years, uh, it's a, lo a long time. I'm a long time champion and uh, I push myself forward. I won these fights and uh, we make it happen on April 13th and we will show who's the best and the people want to see what's going on in these fights and a lot of things happened in the past. And I want to show who's the unschooled champion that will be me. In, in the video you posted, you said her fight with Hannah Gabriel showed that she's beatable and that you're going to do the job better. In what way on April 13th will you show how she's beatable and you'll do the job better? That is my secret. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's beatable uh, the first round. Uh, she got coming forward and and I got to catch her with the uppercut and uh, yeah I'm stronger and taller than Hannah Gabriel. I want to finish this job. We just heard her. That's the same thing she said in the past. Plus, she said she's bigger, she's stronger, more experienced. That will be the difference. You say what? She's not the tallest girl that I've ever fought. One and then two. She's not stronger than me. Uh, the difference between me and her is I got knocked down and got back up and won a fight. 
she got knocked down by a girl and she didn't get back up and they call it a disqualification. We're different. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not, whatever she's talking about, she's beautiful. You know, she, uh, I don't have to keep it a secret. She punched with her chin up in the air. She has a long jab. Uh, she do not know how to fight on the inside and she don't have balance on her legs. Have fun working on that for six weeks. <laughs> and you have to work on your weight. I'm 174 right now. You're bigger than me right now. Oh. Promise you. You're way bigger than me right now. Uh, okay. You're huge. You just fought at 64. You, you didn't even make 60. You fought against the bum your last fight. She got knocked out her last two fights, and you got to come back and have a tune-up fight to fight. Okay, stop talking. Stop. Stop. Okay. Stop it. Let me ask you this. Do you okay. believe this fight will go the distance? Yeah, everything can happen uh, in boxing, but you have to prepare for 10 rounds, tough rounds, and uh, yeah, everything can happen, but I think KO is the best decision, but uh, you never know, but I want to win. Do you think this fight will go to distance question? Uh, we, we see, you know, I feel like I can go in there and uh, press her out and make her quit. That's my main thing. If I can make her quit, that'll be better than knocking her out, just to show her, just to kill her ego and show her that you know, not only am I a good fighter, but I made you quit now. Like, not even did you not even be knocked out, but you quit. But I'm gonna prepare for a 10 round fight. I'm gonna prepare for, I wish we could go 12, but you know, I'm gonna prepare for a 10 round fight. And hopefully she brings her best self, I bring my best self. And at the end, there will be a winner. We'll wrap it up with this. It's for both of you. Again, Cecilia Brink is widely considered pound for pound best female fighter in the world. Does the winner of this fight change that. If the winner of our fight changes? Yes. Right. right now, people, when they say best female fighter, pound for pound in the world right now, Cecilia Breakers. Do you think the winner of this fight will be considered pound for pound best female fighter in the world? You know, it's, that's a hard question to answer because if you look at skill-wise about fights, Honestly, you know, just me. And I, I think me, myself, and Christina have a both kind of fight ready, fight ready in Cecilia Brockes. But because she has all four belts, uh, she's considered the uh, pound for pound woman's fighter. Um, after this fight, maybe they'll maybe they'll make one of us the winner, number one, or maybe they'll make us number two. You know, those ratings are uh, whatever people choose. But I've I've always uh, felt and knew that I was the greatest woman of all time and that I kind of fought better than her, but it's really about what you earned and, and everything like that. So maybe after four months, they'll say, okay, now we consider her the pound for pound, but then again, they may say, they want me and uh, Cecilia Brockett to fight at 54 to decide who's the best pound for pound. You really don't know until they get in the ring and fight each other type of deal. So um, I don't know, but I consider myself the both either way. Christina? You think the winner of this fight should be considered pound for pound best female fighter in the world? Yes, uh, it will be great. Uh, we have both a uh, uh, great opportunity, and uh, Cecilia Briggs is also a great fighter and a longtime champion. And yeah, the winner takes it all. Folks, April 13th, Showtime Boxing Special Edition, 9 p.m. Eastern from Atlantic City. And just to show you how big of a fight it is. Don't forget all access, two episodes leading up to the fight of Shields and Hammer. Don't miss it on Showtime uh, Special Edition here on Showtime Boxing. With that, ladies, let's face up. Hey.
Evie's in the back for me first. Evie in the back, please. Down in front here, please. Bring your please, everybody. One more time in the back, please. Out to the front. Can we have the two of you out of the back? Yes. Yeah, the two of them, we'll do it about first, and then yes. we'll do one with that. No, Denise, you're in the middle of your head. Yeah, hold the ring belt up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Above your head. There you go. There you go. Nice yeah. job. Okay, Jeff, go down a little bit, please, for the TV in the back. Very good. Can you bring the ship? one of them pose individually with their belt.